I look like I'm ready to murder some teenagers with a machete. I am on a really good streak right now. I just finished filming three videos. I think it's because like since quarantine, I haven't really been doing my hair and makeup. And so when I finally do it, I'm like, <laughs> let's just all knock it out at once. <laughs> just finished my quarantine favorites video. Really, really giving me the itch to read. I started reading Shadow of the Fox. It does, uh, from what everyone has told me, it does play out like an anime. It's dark. It's got some, some dark elements to it. But I feel like the character is a little... I feel like our main character is a little too young. I mean, she's supposed to be young. But, I mean, Arya Stark, Bran Stark, you know, like characters from Game of Thrones. And I even looked it up. I was like, is this a YA book? And everyone was like, no, it's not YA. It's definitely adult. Well, it's YA. Which is fine. I have nothing against YA. It's just, I've been really wanting something but i've been really looking for a book that like like kind of makes me work for it i guess the other updates my husband for our garden we have a raised garden bed that is built has dirt in it it is ready to be worked on but i don't have a fence i have like a little fence but i don't have a dog proof fence um, my dogs are destructive. He has an idea of how we could build a fence around there so I think that's something that we'll do this weekend. My family is starting to discover that I make YouTube videos. I'm not embarrassed by it. I've, I've been talking to myself since I learned how to talk so it's nothing new. YouTube has honestly been such a great outlet for me for this quarantine and it's um, you know, it's something that I've wanted to do for like literally a decade. I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I never thought that I was like good enough in any realm of or any category of things. I think I need to go edit some videos. See you later. Shout out to my sister for the face mask. I look like I'm ready to murder some teenagers with a machete for getting frisky at camp, right? Like if someone showed up on my doorstep wearing this, I'd be a little concerned. <laughs> oh my goodness. So fun fact, when I take boobly baths, I absolutely enjoy watching cops. It's four in the afternoon, so kind of a weird time to take a bath. Oh, I'm gonna end up burning my eyes. There we go. Can you take me seriously while I look like this? Um, I hope everyone is having a great weekend. I know that businesses are slowly starting to start up again. Um, we're all wearing our face masks. I know. There are so many people out there that absolutely hate the idea of wearing a face mask, but look at me. Coming from someone who is wearing a literal face mask, wear a face mask. I was at Walmart earlier today wearing an actual face mask. I sneezed. This is a weird, another weird fact about me. If it's really cold or if I feel really cold for some reason, it triggers me to sneeze. I'm sure there's a scientific reason as to why that happens. That or one of you psychologists are going to label me as clinically insane. I was going down the frozen vegetable aisle and I sneezed in my face mask, mind you. And this elderly woman about had a heart attack. Her, her fear is warranted, but like it made it awkward and made me forget the items that I was down that aisle to get anyway. So, hmm. All right guys, check you out in the next clip. For today's finale, I decided to bring a friend.
If you want to know something really sad, I can hardly keep up with her. Mom Bob's makeover. Don't give up. She did so good. She made it. I was afraid she wouldn't. But she did better than me. I hope you guys like my fashionable husband jacket <laughs> that I'm sporting. Someone here about gave me a heart attack. I noticed that Stella usually sleeps in her doggy bed in our um, laundry room. Is always there ready to give me love when I go and turn on the sprinklers and I noticed that she wasn't in there. And I'm still like, where is my dog? Oh, I started to worry. And um, the gates were all locked. Um, the weirdest thing is that my two big dogs were here. And um, so, you know, if the gate were to open, the other dogs would be long gone before Stella decides to run away. And <laughs> so I'm like screaming for her out on, you know, outside on my property. And I'm just like, you know, I'm freaking out. Like, oh my God, where is my dog? Where is my dog? You know, I'm running around the yard screaming for Stella. I'm about to go wake up my husband in, in a panic. And I was like, oh my God, like maybe I should check. Oh, maybe she got locked in the garage. Um, my brother has a project truck that he's keeping in our garage for now. And he did do work on it yesterday. And um, I go and look in there and uh, behold, she's in there. But mystery solved, I'm like shaking. But either one, she was stolen or two, she was declaring anarchy and was acting like a moody teenager and wanted to run away and become an actress in Hollywood. Or three, a predator or something got to her. That was another thing. I was like afraid that I was gonna find a dead dog in my yard. <gasps> Can't even think about that. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? Huh? You gave me a scare. Oh my goodness, I was so sad. Okay, not fun anymore. Not, not fun. So I guess I should show you the before. <laughs> Don't mind this big pile of dirt. This came from a fire pit that we have <clears throat> in progress. But this is the raised garden bed. It was really, really windy yesterday, so there's a lot of debris in here. But it is ready to go. I think I'm gonna put like a couple more bags of fresh dirt. Hopefully my husband can build a fence around this today. We are now in my warehouse, our little warehouse gym that we have going on here. About to get a workout in, at least try to. I did not post a fitness challenge last week and that was because I was working on a week long fitness challenge for this week. But it was really poorly executed. I tried running one mile every single day. I was having trouble with my Apple Watch because that's what I used to record how far I was going and I was like switching it up, going, you know, running around different areas around our property. I know that one mile is not very far. Maybe I'll do a five mile challenge because I know that'll be a lot harder for me to do. Um, I did complete it, which I was very happy about but there were so many malfunctions and then I had to skip a day because I had like back-to-back -back exams and I just, by the time I was done, it was way too hot outside and um, I just wasn't feeling it, so. All right guys, check you later, bye. Now that I am just about done with school, I only have one exam left on um, Friday should hopefully have more time to be able to make videos. Maybe a live stream on Saturdays um, because I am home alone on Saturdays, uh, but we'll see. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.